right, in tonight's health news, we've been talking about that heat wave that's on the way, and so we thought it was quite appropriate to talk about protection from the sun, especially here in San Diego. This is a huge thing. We talk about it so many times a year, and yet people continue to get sunburned. So here to talk about it all is Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD. Dr. G, great to have you back. I hear you were in Italy last week, so we're glad to have you back. Yeah, a little bit of cycling, but I tell you, coming home to San Diego is the best. So we always know that the best way to protect ourselves with the sun is wearing sunscreen. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, lots of people are doing it. Things that we don't realize is 70% of the ultraviolet rays can come through the clouds. So even if it's a cloudy ray, a day, we still need to use sunscreen. But every now and then, we are going to get a sunburn. So what's the most important thing? The most important thing when you get a sunburn is you have to realize the skin is damaged. Mm -hmm. And it takes four full weeks for the skin to come back to normal. Really? So the most common thing is if you've got a sunburn, you want to keep that part of your body not exposed to the sun sun for about four weeks. So even as you start to see it get a little more tan and you think, oh great, I'm going to keep tanning, not the thing to do. No, it takes four weeks for the skin to really heal. Now, other things that we don't realize mm -hmm. is if a baby less than one year old gets a sunburn, that's actually a medical emergency and you really need, to, that baby needs to see the pediatrician because baby's skin is so sensitive and they can lose a lot of fluid and become dehydrated very rapidly. Mm -hmm. So if a baby becomes sunburned, really you have to keep that uh, very, very important. When children get sunburned, same kind of thing. They can get dehydrated very quickly, mm -hmm. so you have to make sure that the kids are hydrated. Do you recommend a higher SPF for kids who are younger as opposed to us who maybe we can do a, 50, a 15 or a 30? Yes, well, I always recommend high SPFs for uh, adults, children, <laughs> and infants. But, you know, the best sunscreens are the ones with the minerals in them, mm -hmm. like zinc oxide, titanium dioxide. Those are the safest ones to use. And we, uh, we show powders that can be used as well. Now, other things that we can do is when you do have a sunburn, of course, don't get back in the sun. Right. Use cool water, not cold water, but cool water can be very soothing. You can even have like a terry cloth towel in cool water and put it on the sun the sunburn area. A baby aspirin, very good to take. Aspirin and Motrin are much better than Tylenol okay. to keep it down. And then there is an advance. We actually have a type of an LED laser called a Gentle Waves, which wow. if you get a sunburn and your doctor has this device, literally 45 seconds doesn't hurt at all. And that can really tone down the sunburn as well. Wow, such great tips. And of course, I hope people heed your warnings as we go into this summer, the whole summer season, but also the heat wave that we're going to be having. Dr. G, as always, great to see you, sir. We'll see you it's next week. good to week. be here with sunscreen. That's right, always wearing it. And with that, Walter, we'll send it back to you. All right, some good advice. Thank you.